hi guys welcome back to my channel and today is a very special day we are at omega and i'm planning to add one more watch to my collection so if you watch my last video i showed you three watches for my um, my ideal three piece collection and of course all three are omegas so i showed the omega seamaster diver 300 the one that i have the Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch, the latest with the 3861 movement and also the Aquaterra Old Timer GMT and if you guess that I'm getting the Moonwatch first then you are spot on I'm trying on the Hasselite version here on the full bracelet the Sapphire one to this day is still on a waiting list about 3 weeks to a month you have to place an order with an AD or a boutique However, if you do decide you want to get the sapphire version not on the full bracelet but on a leather strap like this one, then they do have it available and you can buy it right away. But it's not advisable because the new bracelet is a big upgrade and it's worth the extra few hundred uh, extra that you have to pay. So I've decided that I'm getting the Sapphire Sandwich version and we are about to place an order with the boutique. You know a brand really loves their branding when even the flower vase in their boutique has their logo. <laughs> this is the boutique at the MBS outlet. All done, all the place and now all we have to do is sit tight wait about three weeks to a month for the call and i get to collect my new moon watch we made our way to the tech hoya boutique in orchard road and this is my first time entering this store and i have to say i really like the interior design the feel of it it's different compared to the omega one we are here today to send my dad's watch for servicing and maintenance it hasn't been working for quite a while now and my dad's birthday is coming up so my mom and I we thought of sharing the amount that it would take to uh, fix the watch and giving him as a surprise present. My dad got this watch about 20 years ago along with my mom when they sold the house and you can tell uh, 20 years ago uh, men's sports watch aren't that big compared to uh, modern time. A nice tech Hoya Carrera with a sunburst blue finish. This one has a GMT function or in other words a second time zone indicator. This model also features a display case back. Moving on to the Monaco models, a watch made popular by Steve McQueen uh, where his personal watch sold at a world record of 2.2 million dollars. This chocolate dye monocle caught my attention right away and I wanted to try it on but I soon realized that with the diamond uh, hour markers that it's more for ladies <laughs> but if you're confident enough to play it off then you know why not Also a display case back for this model A special edition monocle, uh, golf version this one has a chronograph and a bright and striking uh, dial and if you notice at 12 o'clock the branding it only says Hoyer and that is because this is a vintage uh, tribute to an older model before tech acquired Hoyer becoming the brand that it is today moving on to dive watches and also another limited edition model this one is the Aquarista Diver 300 and this one has caught quite a bit of attention and interest uh, I really like the monochromatic uh, color scheme and if you like loom you're gonna love this watch the whole uh, dial lights up in the dark also has a uh, ceramic uh, bezel and priced at about 4007 I think it's quite a tempting proposition I might I could see myself owning that watch maybe one day and another limited edition model this one is the Aquarius Professional 300 this one is a tribute to the first dive watch released by Tech Hoyer in 1978. This has a more of a classy and vintage look to it with the patina. 
Uh, but despite being on the rubber strap, this one is a bit more expensive than the last one, the Diver 300. At about 6,005, uh, it's still a nice watch, but uh, me personally, I would save up a little bit more and get an Omega instead. Another Aqua Racer. This one reminded me of my Omega Seamaster Diver 300, the Panda. This one doesn't cost as much uh, at about 4,000 plus dollars. So about almost half of what the Omega costs. As we were about to leave the store, this display case caught my attention and I just had to try another watch on. So this tech Hoya Carrera has a chronograph complication which in layman's term is just basically a stopwatch. But more impressively, this one features a tourbillon too. And what the tourbillon does is it puts the watch's escapement on a rotating cage and whatever component of the watch that is affected by the earth's gravity pull uh, will not be affected uh, on this one and it should keep better time than the watches that don't have a tourbillon and also it looks pretty damn cool where you have a miniature beating heart on your watch you cannot go wrong with that oh, yeah, it's nice. oh. it's like they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. And yep, I almost had a heart attack that day. I wanted to do a wrist roll, but I forgot the buckle wasn't clicked. And you know, of all the watches that I could have nearly dropped, it just had to be the most expensive one. So <laughs> This watch retails for $30,000 and you can actually get a discount too if you are serious about purchasing one. Um, I think it's quite a good deal getting a uh, watch complication like a tourbillon uh, from a name known brand like Tag because if you compare it to any other major watch brand say for example Omega you can easily go up to the hundreds of thousands so it's quite a good deal. Mm -hmm. 